Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome to a new series that I am introducing on the Infernal Obelisk. It is essentially a collection of guided meditations and preliminary invocations for you to perform in order to fill you with the correct energies, cause the required alterations of the self, and align you to the type of magic that you are about to perform. For example, love magic, money magic, and so on. But in our first installment today, I would like to touch on baneful magic. This will also empower yourself and will actually serve to empower the hex, the spiritual attack, and any baneful magic you do after this meditation. So without further ado, let's get into it. Start by closing your eyes. Envision your immediate surroundings internally. As you do so, breathe in deeply through the nose and out by the mouth. Visualize now the matter of the very environment slowly breaking down, curiously cracking and breaking as some sort of strange power begins to defile the very fabric of subsistence all around you. As this begins, you will start to hear a cacophony of vibrations. These are the names of malevolent entities being vibrated from beyond the veil. These names only seem to accelerate the deterioration of your environment as it slowly and finally sets ablaze in blackened fire. And as you hear the names now as they burn through the entire environment, don't let these malevolent names burn away your entire reality until you are immersed in a void of pure, wrathful malevolence. Satan Notice how the environment starts to break apart like a sugar cube dissolving in a glass of water until the environment becomes nothing but a dark hungry void. As every single atom and molecule has been set ablaze in blackened fire, your whole world as you know it now is turned to ashes and you sit in a dark great void. This isn't a void like the regular nothingness that we go to in meditation, it's a different void entirely. An abysmal dimension wherein only malevolence, malice, hatred, wrath and hunger lay dormant. Powers more older than the sands of time. See that the darkness around you moves like a liquid ink, moving like some sort of dark ophidian. Breathe it in deeply until it pierces through your nose, down your mouth, down your throat, and filling you with its malevolence, filling you with its darkness. As you breathe out, release all guilt, all remorse, and all compassion. Feel that this very living ink, this obsidian spiritual force, moves inside of you like a thousand leeches. Breathe in more of its blackness from around you, and then breathe out all weakness, all frailty, and all innocence 
as it's being drained out of you. Continue breathing in this manner. Through inhalations, you invite the dark great malice, and through exhalations, you expel from your being more and more of your humanity. In with the insidious power, and out with your innocence. Breathe inward and become one with the wickedness and the bloodlust, and breathe out all that which gives you peace and all that which gives you serenity. Breathe in this pool of destructive energy and breathe out any remnants of joy and tranquility. Continue doing this, and as you do so, visualize in the dark reflective ink all around you the faces of people that trigger inside of you rage. See their faces. Hear them laughing at you. Hear them mocking you. See in the mirror of hatred memories and scenarios which may have taunted you or haunted you your entire life. This place seeks to make you wrathful. It seeks to make you vengeful. Give in to its swoon. Give in to the mass of negativity which is about to wash over you. It doesn't weaken you, however. It does trigger something deep within you. As you gaze upon the mirror of hatred all around you, you'll start to see scenarios which may have happened in your life, which may trigger anger within you. And you may even start to see things which have never even taken place. As it feeds on that which infuriates you, that which you fear, that which you hate, and that which you would fear to harm, creating scenarios in your psyche to fuel your inner hatred. So see these things unfolding before you as you become filled by this liquid malevolence, filling you up like an elixir of malevolence into a poison chalice. Allow yourself to respond to what you see. Allow yourself to hear the voices of your greatest enemies mocking you. Voices hurling insults towards you, only amplifying the negative emotions within you. Now envision that as all of this is going on, your energy body becomes as black and as abysmal as that very same void around you which you are now immersed in. In that darkened energy body of yours, envision at the groin area a shimmering bloody redness, barely visible beneath the abysmal darkness of that malice-filled energy body. This redness signifies the root chakra, and we will tap into the dark emotional spectrum of wrath therein wherein our raw and primal instincts lay dormant, the origin of bloodlust, sexuality and wrath. So allow your imaginative vision to zoom in on that area. The energy body is so dark, it is like a blood red lightning striking inside of a pitch black cloud. So breathe in deeply. Hold your breath for a moment whilst allowing yourself to be overwhelmed by these bad memories and every negative insult, every hateful and spiteful moment of your life overwhelming you. Allow your fists to ball up, and as you breathe out, vibrate the mantra. Yes, vibrate the name of the demon of rage and wrath. As you do so, notice that beneath that blackness, the bloody crimson light becomes more prominent. Breathe in deeply again, allowing your mind and your heart to be overwhelmed by these taunts and visions. Hold your breath, feeling that rage and anger building inside of you, and then breathe out, vibrating the mantra. I this is another variation of the demon's name the raffle devil's name being previously mentioned, and now see that that red energy center begins to ignite in a fiery red energy. Breathe in deeply again, and hold that breath, allowing that anger to worsen, and then become rage, and then that rage becomes wrath. As we breathe out deeply, vibrate the mantra, Asmodi. See now that your darkened energy body 
has at its root a ball of red fire. Envision in the center of that ball a glowing sigil of Asmodeus, overlapping his presence therein. Breathe in deeply, pulling all of the malevolent and destructive blackness from that void around you directly into the root chakra as if it were a vacuum. Hold that breath and vibrate the name and envision the sigil glow and becomes charged as you vibrate this mantra. Breathe out again now and envision that that ball of red flames sprouts out its fiery bloody embers until your energy body is a mixture of living, wicked, evil, destructive blackness and wrathful, raging, red bloody fire. Feel that the flames of Asmodeus wash over you and the fire of the burning one coursing through your inner darkness. And now repeat this invocation with me. I invoke you, Asmodeus. Devil upon two sticks. Enter into my being. Ignite the flames of Bolshalab within my heart, mind and body and the altar of my immortal soul. Asmodeus, Asmode, Aishma, fill me with your wrath, fill me with your rage, empower the vengeful power within me. I am anger, I am rage, I am wrath, I am hatred, I am pain, I am destruction, I ignite the spirit of the burning one within me now. Breathe in deeply now. Feel the fire of Asmodeus increase in terms of intensity. And feel that sensational bloodlust within you awakening as you breathe out. See how these wrathful bloody flames burn throughout every chakra, every energy center of your darkened, black energy body. Bring to mind now the target who shall taste of your vengeance, who you seek to destroy. See them as clearly as day before you, standing in that void, allowing their mere presence to worsen the rage building inside of you, to the point where your hands ball to a fist, your jaw locks and clenches, your muscles squeeze and contract. For we must not only allow our mind, our heart and spirit to react to this, but our body as well. Breathe in more of that spiritual dark malevolence around you. Hold the breath for a moment. And as you breathe out, you will begin to speak the second invocation. I call into me the powers of destruction. I invoke the forces of hatred and chaos. I call upon madness and death. I call upon malevolence and wickedness. I call upon evil and vengeance. I become at one with this malevolence. As it now becomes one with me. I invoke its power. I invoke its might. I invoke its power. I invoke its might. Once that invocation has been stated, then at this very moment, visualize that that person before you who triggers that rage has disappeared into the vastness. Feel how every part of your being is coursing with its wrathful and dark destructive energy and power. It is at this point you should open your eyes and do any painful operation curse, ritual or spell that you were going to do with that energy moving through your being. Now, however, let us 
expel that energy and that force which you have invoked. Although great for any baneful ritual, and although great for any baneful spell, you do not want to leave this type of energy within you, as the consequences, if it's left in you too long, can be quite dire. So, place your palms flat upon the ground. Close your eyes for a moment and take a couple deep breaths in and out. Visualize above you the very light of divinity, floating just above your crown. And as you breathe in, pull in a ray of peace, serenity, energy, and tranquility. As that fills you, hold the breath and focus only on good thoughts, any good thoughts of any kind, any good emotion, or even good intentions. As you do this, exhale and vibrate the following mantra. And as you vibrate this mantra, imagine that blackness and that fire push through the palm of your hands deep into the core of the earth. The mantra R is the mantra of release and you are releasing that very force and that very energy back into its original form. And simply breathe in again and repeat the process until you are filled with the light that you are cycling from above and until the fire and that dark invoked power is extinguished from your being. Do this over and over. Sit with yourself and allow yourself to acclimatize to a peaceful and calm breathing cycle. And then the energy which you invoked shall be expelled fully in its totality. <laughs> 